If you're not moving forward, you're going backwards. Stagnation isn't even real in, in this world. That's why people are able to watch football, American football or, you know, soccer. Either way, like, they're able to watch it regardless of if they just score like two times a game. Because even through the rest of the time, if you're not doing anything, you're literally being pushed backwards. Time is running out, first down, second down, third down, fourth. Like, by not pushing forward, you're losing. It's ending up worse for you, which is real life. There is no winners, losers, and a third option of like, you can coast through life, you know, you can do fine. And no, you get two options. You're either a winner or a loser. If you don't actively push and try your hardest to get that first down, to get that touchdown, you're going to lose the game. It's that simple. There are no draws. There is no, oh, you lived an okay life. You're a loser then. And if you're fine with being a loser and that's who you're meant to be and you can be happy like that, then go for it. But if you can't and you don't like the fact that I'm calling you a loser and you take that to heart and you go like, you know what? I'm going to prove this guy wrong. Then play the game and try to win. It just baffles me how many people I'm meeting, especially nowadays, people I grew up with in my grade level around my age who would just give up. They give up on life. I'm like, dog, you're 23 years old. You, have, you don't even know what life is. The core idea to selling to women is things that make them think that they're gonna be more attractive. Not things that make them more attractive. Cause a lot of these things that girls do are really fucking stupid and they don't actually make them more attractive. But things that girls think will make them more attractive. That is the key to half of all the money made on planet earth. I'm telling you bro, all this shit is like you, it's so much easier to advertise to girls than it is to guys. Guys are so much more level-headed when it comes to not being brainwashed. Like I don't even think that's controversial to say. You look at the like extremes on both sides. How many female conspiracy theorists do you know? Like how many females do you know that are like truly, truly skeptical of like everything? A lot of females were given a lot of love by authorities when they were little. A lot of males weren't, and so they don't trust authorities. Why would they? How many females do you know out here that are like trying to fucking start the war room to revolt against the government and overthrow the establishment? It's a lot harder to brainwash the masculine side of people than it is to brainwash the feminine side of them. Every single like tech related ad always has to have an iPhone. It's like half of these are iPhone related. Like who's falling for this stuff? Who are the idiots that just like see an iPhone and they go, ooh, I want to spend money now. It's it's all of them. Look at this. You just keep, they, there's, it's never ending iPhones. Top 1% click through rate. People are falling for this. How? Who's clicking on this? Who's falling for this? I thought this ended in like 2009. Oh, get click here for a free iPad. And then they got a virus and everyone's like, oh yeah, it's stupid. You can't just get a free iPad like that by just clicking on an ad. Who's doing this? You may also like, and then it's cock rings, like all these, there, dude, there's so many sex toys. On. This is why, I wonder if Amazon's allowed to sell sex toys. Maybe that's why they haven't completely taken over retail yet, because they can't sell sex toys. Maybe they can, I don't know. So you'll notice that all these videos, like glow up tips for the boys, right? They look, they have the faces of girls. It's feminine to care about these kinds of things. Okay, so I'm still confused on do i just rip their ads do i just steal their ads and promote it myself so like i have this i know other people might have it too uh my dad has it yeah i, I got it from him it, where it's like i get really 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 cold hands and cold feet like unless i'm doing shit or whatever like if i'm just inactive it's like all the body heat doesn't disperse all the way to my hands and feet especially where my toes and the ends of my fingers are my mom, like, you know, all the time she'd be like, oh my God, your hands are so cold. And, you know, she'd like do this to my hands and all this stuff. And I get like really cold feet all the time. I'm literally wearing socks right now. I've been wearing them the whole day. And then most days I wear them the whole day. Most days I'm like indoors. I sleep in my socks. I wake up in my socks. I go back to sleep in the same socks if I'm indoors the whole day, which I haven't left the place at all. And it's 7.37 PM. And it's like the rest of me is, is like, I want to turn the fan on and shit, but my feet are still cold, even in the socks. So it solves a real world problem. And I might be able to, not really, it doesn't really solve a real world problem. I'm just a fucking bitch. I got to get over it. I got to build some muscle so that way I actually have body heat to disperse everywhere. And I'll be hot everywhere, but I mean, you know, that's a more more reasonable problem to have. That's a better problem to have. Not that, or it's not a better problem. It's the problem that I should have. So I feel like I can make ads. I can resonate with 
people like that who have the same thing as me like your feet cold all the time all that kind of shit you know or i could steal ads but i know which ads would work because i can understand that mind that's something i have a bit of a vision for Th this is what's so tricky about this dropshipping shit all these products come by and i'm like i don't have a vision for it if i have a vision for something i make it happen it's very very easy when i have a vision for like oh this is a good youtube video it'll work the video always blows up every time it's never failed me once my vision for seeing how is this gonna go and if I can see that it'll go well in the future, it's never failed. But 90% of these dropshipping products, I don't have vision. I can't see it. But I can kind of, I can I can see like 10% of the, of, uh, you guys can't even see it. It's this right here. I fucking hate Windows 11, dude. This is so minimalist. It's annoying. Like, at least give me the option to have some details, man. <laughs> Next gay thing. They were laughing at it. This dude made a, a gay subscription box website. Okay, never mind. I can't do this one. I was thinking at first, I was thinking like, okay, this is a crazy market to be in because you don't, there are no gay poor people. I mean, you take a look at all the studies where people have turned other animals, mice, dogs, whatever, gay. They gave them a, a you know, endless utopia of nothing but pleasure and no pain and no struggle, no hardship or anything like that. So gay people, it's sort of a prerequisite. It's not necessarily that, oh, they're gay, but they also happen to have easy lives. It's that a really easy life turns you gay, which in a way makes sense because women, feminine women should have easy lives. They should have as easy lives as possible because they're gonna have to do the extremely difficult job of, of putting their all into raising kids. And so battling the hardships of nature and of the world and of people around us, you know, trying to stay safe and, and protect the family and all that stuff. If one person should be handling that and get really, really good at that. The other person should be handling the kids and get really, really good at that. And, and min max and delegate out the work. And it's part of the feminine spirit to have it easy in every aspect and, and get all the resources and be able to allocate all the resources in intelligent ways into making sure that the, the torch passes on to the next generation. The most important job in the world. Yeah, I mean, girls today don't care about that kind of thing because they're brainwashed by a bunch of fucking idiots who, you know, want to take advantage of these girls and, and they want to um, make it really easy for themselves. Basically, they're not men, they're not being taken advantage of by men, they're being taken advantage of by man child child infants, infants in the bodies of men who are like, oh, I don't want to do the work. So let me just convince women that it's empowering to go, you know, slave away at a nine to five job. Literally like the thing that all these men are trying to avoid they are saying, oh, do it women. It's empowering. You do, you do, you please, you do it. Please do all of my work for me. And I'll just go sit over here and smoke weed and play video games. Women should have it easy in almost every single aspect of life, in every aspect of life, except for raising kids. Other than that, and maybe a couple others, it should be real easy for them. They go, hey, I want money. They get the money. And so when men embody that spirit and they go, hey, mom, dad, I want some money. And then they just get money. That's what happens. That's also why gay people tend to not believe in God because God is to be feared. God is the never ending, impossible to overcome challenge of life that you submit to. But if you go, no, I want everything and I want to be entitled and I want it all and whatever I say goes. And if I demand something then I should get it, then, um, yeah, how the hell could you believe in God if that's your mindset? And so because of that, I know I just want to rant, but because of that, gay people are rich and they spend a lot of money. What products could I sell to gay people that wouldn't involve me having to look at a bunch of fruity ass fucking dudes, you know, half naked dudes like that. I don't want to see any of that shit. It's not even like I can make money in other ways. I could do other stores, but selling products to gay people seems so lucrative. There's gotta be something I could sell to them. Something that resonates with them. Oh wait, I just sell products to women. Yeah, that'll work. In fact, it might actually be kind of foolish to start like a gay site. You just sell female, like products to females, and it'll also be marketed to gay dudes. Reproduce illegally. I get what this is saying. <laughs> it sounds really bad. My mind has been tainted because I've seen so many like sex related products on AliExpress. I'm thinking of all these other ways to sell it that are like completely unrelated to, for real, like if some chick, some TikTok girl goes on some podcast, and the podcast is gonna get like 100,000 views. That's not a big deal at all. 100,000 views is not a big deal. And she goes on there wearing some shit like this. And, and it's a conversation point because everyone's gonna be like, yo, what the fuck is that? What are you wearing? And she'll be like, it's this, I got it from this store. Boom. And, and I pay under the table, obviously, payola. No disclosure that it's sponsored. Sorry, uh, FCC, order of fucking bullshit organization. 
requires that people disclose the fact that they're advertising, yet they don't disclose it in movies. People have to play by your rules only when they're not bribing you. Oh, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. And they go, oh, but if it's in movies, then people know because of suspension of disbelief, they know that they're, they're advertisements. If you see a Marlboro sign in a, in a movie, do they? Do they really? Because if they did, then it wouldn't work. It's so effective and so many movies do it because it works. The way you determine whether or not the advertising needs to be disclosed is if it works or not. And it works. Every movie still does it. And they don't disclose anything. And you give them free reign. So fuck them. I'm not playing by your rules. I think as long as I don't piss off the IRS, I'm all good, honestly. I don't know what angle I want to go for. I think I want to go for like, it's wacky and weird. And it's some, like, imagine the voiceover of the ad being like, conveying the message, obviously not saying this, but conveying the message of like, I'm a normie and I only own like normal things. But for the first time, I felt like buying something weird and wacky and, and interesting. And I bought these and because I'm indoors, nobody sees me wearing it, but I feel so, it feels so good on my feet and it's cozy and it's my toes are real snug and i want her to like be like oh it's so cute and all this like i want her the the girl who's saying the voiceover to like really give a performance with it you know i think that'll work like if she conveys with her voice with her inflection that it has alleviated her discomfort and brought her cause because it's cozy right it's brought her cause coziness it's coziness I don't know who else has them. I don't know if they've been marketed anywhere. $14. Wow. Okay. These are going to be the premium ones then. Actually, no, nah, this is how I do it. Let's just go through straight up and look at each of these and see if we can find that on Amazon, if we can find other variants on AliExpress, and if we can find ads for it. I found the store. Other dropshipping stores would have, they're using Shop Hunter, bro. You could just search with Google. Wait. People are dropshipping this shit straight through eBay. Oh my God, dude, there's hella, there's hella AED. That's the thing that's on the wall that you use to revive people. And I, this is only one picture. This is only the first picture. There's all these other pictures in this set here that I was planning on looking up. Look at how many results there are. I should make a picture showing like a Lego or something underneath it so that way they don't step on it. Or glass, that would hit them. But actually, no, I don't wanna do that. If the product is really successful, I'll take like the cutest picture of like a baby that I could find and then put it on their feet, Photoshop it on their feet. Actually, wait, no, I could just do the IRL. It would be easier to do an IRL to like buy a unit and then put it on their feet IRL. Oh, these are really good, especially these. When SpongeBob went to Sandy's place, they ripped her fur off and then just stuck it to the, like Patrick stuck it to his head and all the fur, because it was done so amateurishly, all the fur was like on the outside. It's like that. It's like they just pressed it up against it and there's so much fur like that. And it's, it has the same vibe as like a kid putting like fruit in their mouth and like it being like a giant like chipmunk mouth, way biting off way more than they can chew, you know? That's kind of the vibe that it gives me. But I'm using the UD brand name and I'm gonna say, these are the, the $40 ones. And I'm gonna take all the email addresses of all people who bought them previously. These are the $35 ones. And if you want to get them like this, they're $40. What the fuck is going on? Translation missing. Here's the problem with these people, bro. They make these courses and they're like, they just leave shit out, bro. They just, they, they skip so much information. These courses are not made for beginners. They have the worst of both worlds. They have the worst of the beginner world because all the basic information you want it to be told to you as if you know nothing. And it's like, they go through all this useless menial stuff, but it's like, okay, I could see how for some beginners that stuff might be useful, but for people who know what they're doing, it's just a waste to watch, it's a waste of time to watch. But then they skip very, very crucial things that it's like, if you're with the shit, if, if you're a beginner, you need to know these things. And these are the things that they skip. The most essential parts are the parts that they skip. Like the dude, Sebastian Esquato, whatever, he made that video. He's like, oh yeah, this is a good product. I'm not going to prove that it's a good product. I'm not going to, you know, advertise it. And, you know, I made the store. I found the product. I did all this stuff. And now uh, it just comes down to making TikTok ads. And he's like, this is a full tutorial on how to make six figures of drop shipping. You didn't include any of the advertising. You didn't even continue. Like, I don't even know if you, you could have been using the free trial of Spotify for like a day and made the video in a day. And you may not have even sold a single product. You probably didn't make any ads. He didn't show anything. You can't do this. You can't take the link to tinyfeet.com, throw it in a shop hunter and it'll work. And maybe you can do that just by random guessing to tinyfeet.shopify.com or whatever, and then just trying different variations. But he doesn't do that. 
Look what he does. Display any type of sales from a Shopify store. So, <clears throat> as you can see, this is Shop Hunter. If I pull up their store on my Shop Hunter, there was no way to, to bring that link in there. He doesn't go, this is, he has Shop, Shop Hunter opened up right here, by the way. Look at this. Like he has it open on here. He has the website open, but he goes, no, no, no. I want to bring a new tab that I have from my second screen. This is the mark of someone who is clearly going like, oh, I don't want to give away the real recipe. I'm just telling you what I think you should know, what, uh, you know, what sounds good to you. So that way you think it's a good course. And that way, you know, if you do hustle and you do get good results, then you go like, oh, testimonial confirmation bias. The course totally worked when really it didn't. Really all this information is better, better found on YouTube, honestly, for free. Last night I took a shower and literally it, it burned my feet. It, like it, I get a burning sensation in my feet. It's like, it stings because my feet get so cold. I noticed that if my feet are really warm or if I like ease into it, cold water and it's warmer and warmer and warmer. But when it's really cold on the ground and it's hot water, you know, on the ground while the ground is so cold and it's like really early, whole, my entire feet burn, not even just the bottom, the whole, my entire feet, like all the way through it burns. I don't know how many other people actually experience this. This might just be a problem with like just me to like the degree that it's like, like the severity of it. Cause I wear like socks all the time indoors anyways, literally to the point where it's compressed down my feet and my toes are always curled naturally. It's like really hard to splay them out. And my nails are wavy cause they're pressed together so much. My toenails are literally like they're. It's like really bad. Like dude, when I was little, I used to, I tried to do e whoring and actually I tried to like as a joke cause I have feminine looking feet. So I posted pictures of my feet and made money from posting feet pics online, like selling feet pics. And I can't do that anymore. Man, I can't believe this. There's, I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking. I fucked it up. It's just, there's too many of these and I, I, I'm overthinking. And it's like, if you go to this website to solve the problem, you're like the, the best way to solve the problem is really to get just socks, right? Everyone fucking has socks. You would have to market this in a separate way than keeping your feet warm. You would have to market this in a way of like, oh, this is for like, it's cute when babies wear this kind of thing. And honestly, I don't know that angle. I mean, I, I can, I can go into it. And this is like, I know this is like the kind of thing that I have to do, but it's like, I have no vision for it. I have no vision where I could see like, okay, this will work. I have a vision for being able to solve the kind of problem of cold feet. But honestly, you could solve the problem by working out and getting bigger and, and getting, you know, more meat in your legs. Look at this. I made all these notes right here, putting together like a list of the places that I found. And this is just from one picture, the description right here. It's on Etsy, which like, man, this is really cool. I would want to sell these. And then I have all these Zen drop products right here. So many of these like Chinese people selling products on AliExpress, they suck so bad at marketing that this whole industry of dropshipping is able to exist. I also got all these pictures and videos from like reviews and shit, but even still like, like why would someone buy this? This is the one product I meant to, for this for, to be like for adults. And this is like the baby version of the product. See how much I'm overthinking. It's like, why don't people just fucking wear socks? Why wouldn't they just do that? And th I think the reason why that marketing angle hasn't been used, I haven't seen it used in any of these products is because it wouldn't work. If someone were to see an ad saying, oh, here's how you keep your feet warm. To be like, why would I get this just to keep my feet warm? It has to have a greater appeal to it. It has to have the the appeal that you know people that sell like feminine products sell sell it for. Like, oh, this will make make it so that you have friends, even though it fucking won't.